Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about a four mic wireless microphone system from a company called Fulium. This system comes with one base that you put on top of your camera or whatever it is you're recording with, and then four little transmitters like this. So you can technically have four people recording at one time. Now, unfortunately, I don't have four different people to record simultaneously for this video, but I can essentially tell you how that part of it works. So first and foremost, this entire video is being recorded with this system. Um, essentially, when you record with one microphone, you have an option on the mics to set it as mono. It'll give you a mono channel, that way you have one stream of recording. When you add a second microphone, you wanna put it in stereo, at which point it's gonna give you two separate channels, one for left, one for right. That way, if you have two people with it, their audio streams aren't going to run over top of each other, and one of them can't really mess up the other one. Now, where this gets tricky is when you're running all four microphones, because you have to run it in stereo, and then it is possible for the two people who are on the left side channel and the two people on the right side channel to mess up each other's audio. There's really no way around that without making a full four channel system, which at this price point is not something you're going to get. That's something you're gonna get in a much more expensive $500 plus system. Now, one of the things I found awesome about this system right out of the gate was once I opened up the little, uh, the little carrying case that the unit comes in, I noticed that they gave you every single possible cable that you could probably ever think of needing. I mean, there's a cable that goes from your, your mic system into USB-C, into lightning, uh, into that standard headphone microphone jack on a phone. Uh, you've got your camera cables. It even gives you a USB to USB type C. That way you can use this system into a laptop and use it like as a desktop microphone or something if you're doing webcam. I mean, you essentially got every cable possible you know, to plug this into any device you want to record from. In terms of charging, they've given you two unique cables where it has one plug that records three units simultaneously and the other plug uh, charges two. That way you can have multiple of these charging at one time instead of having to do one at a time. I thought that was fairly neat. Uh, you're also going to get four lavalier microphones, and I'm not currently using the built-in lav. Uh, when it comes to these systems, I prefer to use the built-in mic because that's how a lot of people are just going to use them. They're going to want something that you're going to be able to quickly clip on and then, you know, run and gun, start recording. Now, if you want to hear what this microphone sounds like running directly into a cell phone, please check out this video that I'm going to link right here above. And that entire video was shot using my iPhone 13 with the Fulia mic plugged in start to finish. That way you could hear what it would sound like, you know, if you're out vlogging with your phone, because a lot of people may end up using their phone with this system. All of the video from that video was recorded using the standard built-in iPhone app. So there wasn't any special processing done in the camera to the audio whatsoever. The only thing that may have been done to it that you'll hear in that video is maybe, you know, tweaking it in and video editing a little bit just to give it a more warmer sound. So build quality, these things feel, you know, pretty good in the hand. They're plastic, just like all of these little units are. Uh, they don't feel like, you know, like junk. They feel like they're a quality product. The receiver's a little bit larger than I expected it to be, but because that's going to be plugged on the camera or somewhere near the camera, it's not really a big deal. Uh, the actual transmitters that are, you know, clipped onto me or clipped onto your tablet are about the same size as the Rode Wireless Go or anything like that, so it's not super intrusive. You can see it attached right here actually on me, and it's not very large at all. Sound quality coming right out of the camera sounds pretty good. Uh, once you get into editing, you can tweak that audio to make it sound even better, but if you are just doing vlogging and you wanna use the sound directly out of it, uh, what I suggest is, at least on the mic and the transmitter, uh, put your volume at eight. Generally with things like this, I will set my volume lower and then raise it up in post so that I don't get clipping. I found with these units that having it at about eight um, gives me the best and, and, and most rich sound without clipping too much or clipping at all. It really depends on how loud you're gonna talk. When I set these down to about five or six and then tried pulling them up in uh, DaVinci Resolve, the sound wasn't as good as when I had it set at eight and pulled it up. Now, if you're gonna go any higher on the audio than that, I do recommend having your bass plugged into something like a MacBook or some type of recorder that can do 32-bit float recording. That way it doesn't clip. 32-bit uh, float is gonna allow you to 
have much louder sounds and whatnot through your volume and your gain without incurring clipping. Now, one of the cool features with this microphone setup is that you can change the frequencies of your mic system. That way, if you're in a situation where other people are using mics as well, uh, a perfect example is if you go to a gaming conference or anything like that, there's gonna be other vloggers and photographers around. Chances are good you're gonna run it over each other's audio at some point. And if that happens, this allows you to tweak your frequencies, let you go to a channel where it's just you recording and you don't get any uh, tie-in with anyone else's audio at all. All right, according to Folium, these microphones can record up to 50 meters, which is right at 164 feet. I don't really have a way to measure 164 feet. So we're gonna set the camera up and then I'm just gonna walk a pretty good distance, you know, at least as far as what I think a normal person would ever need to record with these. And we're gonna see how well the microphone picks up. And I'm gonna do that with my back facing the camera as well as the other way as I'm walking back, just to see, you know, what type of interference blocks it. All right, I'm essentially just going to walk out to the car and I am going to keep talking just to see how much having my back turned uh, interferes with anything. And where I'm at now, as you can see, is a pretty good distance away from the camera. I'm turning around now, and I'm actually going to pull my phone out and record where the camera is. That way you guys can get a good idea of that. So let's find my video app. All right, and if you can see way up there, that is where the camera is compared to where I am right here. And I can't really tell from here if it's picking up or not. We'll find out when we get into editing. But I can't imagine too many people who are going to need to record this far away from the camera at all. I honestly can't. Just for shits and giggles, I am gonna go a little bit farther. Let's see if we can get all the way to this fence. All right, now I'm much farther back. Uh, like I said, I have no way to judge how far this is. I just know it's far. From where I'm standing, I can barely make out the camera and the microphone and the screen, you know, where it's sitting at. So I know I'm pretty, pretty good ways away from the camera. So I'm gonna walk back and we're gonna see if it was breaking up where I was just talking. You know, when it starts picking up clearly again as I walk to the camera, so we're gonna keep this dialogue going as I walk up and see what it does. So if we were lucky, it picked up audio all the way back to the fence, because if it did, I mean, that's, that's absolutely crazy. Again, I, I can't imagine who would need to run audio that far. So that is going to conclude the audio distance test. All right, this microphone system comes in at 299, which for a transmitter, for microphones, all the wiring, the lav mics, the whole nine yards that they give you is an absolute steal. When compared to something like the Rode Wireless Go 2, you only get a uh, transmitter and two mics, and I believe that is also $299. You don't get the case, you don't get you know any of the extra cables for all the other things, you're not getting your lavalier microphones. So you're absolutely getting a good value with this Folium system. Now, for anyone who has any questions on this system at all, please post down in the comment section. I'll answer anything that I can. If you liked the video or found it helpful, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to the channel for more camera and tech related reviews like this one. Now that's gonna wrap this video up. Until next time.